Hello friends and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to give you an example of non-commutative ring without unity. I'm going to give an example and prove that it is non-commutative ring without a unity. Before I start this recording, I want to share something with my students that there are some definition of ring which defaultly include unity inside. Right? So if you are referring some other reference book, it might be possible. In your definition, ring always has unity. But there are many other reference book that do not put the condition of unity inside the ring. So I'm going to work on those definition only. I'm going to get some set, prove that it is a ring, prove it is non-commutative and show that it does not has a unity inside it. So that would be nothing but task for today. Before I start, I should know what I have to prove, right? So I need to find out an example of a set with the two operation that satisfy the conditions of ring. What are the conditions of ring? Let us just know those, right? So ring, the first condition that for ring we have is under addition, it should be an abelian group. Under addition, it should be an abelian group. Under multiplication, under multiplication, it should be a semi-group. And my this multiplication should be distributive from both the sides. My multiplication is distributive over addition from both the sides. These are nothing but the requirements. First of all, my set should certify the rank, uh, conditions of ring. Then it should be non-commutative and it should not have a unity inside it. What is the meaning of unity, by the way? The unity is nothing but multiplicative identity. So now we know all the terminologies that I'm going to use. Time to go for an example, right? So my example is nothing but a set M2, which I defined as set of all real 2 cross 2 matrices over, uh, I already wrote over R. So uh, 2 cross 2 matrices with first row as zero row with first row as zero row that means what is the set this set is nothing but this is nothing but zero zero a b where a and b are any real numbers where the addition and multiplication are nothing but standard addition and standard multiplication of the matrices so definitely can i write this m2 under the Usual addition of matrices. Usual addition of matrices. This set with this operation is nothing but abelian group. Yes or no? For abelian group, you have five conditions. What are those conditions? I'll list. The first is nothing but binary. If I consider two elements from this set, I add them. The final output that I got is again inside the same set. The second is associative. Associative, it will be definitely be there. Matrix uh, addition is always associative. Uh, then the identity. Identity element is there. The zero matrix identity that is there. Inverse for every matrix, the inverse, additive inverse, huh? the additive inverse. Inverse. For an example, if this is the element, the additive inverse would be 0, 0, minus A, minus B. That will always exist. Also, my addition will be abelian, commutative. Okay. So, since it satisfies this five condition, it becomes an abelian group. Now, in multiplication, I want to prove it as a semi-group. Semi-group means under multiplication, it should be binary. Uh, under multiplication it should have associativity so we already know matrix multiplication is always is always associative so we are not going to prove associativity but we'll prove the multiplication is binary in this case because our set has been not all the matrices matrices with some conditions, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take two elements from the set. For an example, suppose if I consider 0, 0, 
a b this is my first element and the second element is 0 0 c d these are nothing but two elements from my m2 i will just multiply them and check whether the output is inside the same set or not 0 0 c d okay let me just multiply so the first row first element is 0 this is also 0 uh, this is nothing but uh, whatever it might be it won't matter but still we will just find it out, right? So it is fine, yes, perfect. But still, it is an element of M2. Why? Because my first row has been the zero. Therefore, my this M2 under multiplication is a semi group. Is a semi group. Okay, I'll just write it as a semi group. Okay. Now it is semi group I because it is associative over here implies it is binary. So all the condition has been there. The last condition is also the default condition. Uh, matrix multiplication. Multiplication. Is always for the students who feel yeah this sir is writing everything is default. Because those things are actually trivial, you can try to prove it. If you are unable to prove it, you can let me know in the chat box. I will definitely prove. But you should try it once. Okay. The matrix multiplication is always distributive. Distributive. You can take three elements and you can prove that. What you have to prove is you have to prove x, y plus z is equal to x, y plus uh, xz where xyz are matrices you can take an element of m2 three elements of m2 and you can distribute it is really simple go for a left hand side solid go for right hand side solid you can get the same answer okay so the matrix multiplication is always distributive over addition so my dear friends what we found what we found is my m2 with usual addition and usual multiplication is a ring is a ring does it has a unit inside it also so i'll just write it also my one zero zero one this is nothing but my unity correct because it is multiplicative identity this cannot be the element of m2 what is the reason the reason is my first row is not a zero row. therefore my m2 has become a ring therefore m2 is the ring without without unity it is a ring without unity now one thing left it should be non commutative as well right it should be non commutative as well so this is the last part let us just prove it so my claim is the last claim my left is nothing but my m2 is non commutative so that means it should not commute right commutative it should not commute let's just prove this suppose if i take two elements 0 0 a b i take the second element from m2 it is nothing but this if i multiply just now i have found it is nothing but 0 0 it should be b c and b d suppose if i multiply in other way round that is nothing but 0 0 c d first and 0 0 b a b last then the final output would be 0 0 this is nothing but A, D and this is nothing but B, D. So you can observe easily my 1 and 2 are not equal. 1 is not equal to 2 always. Implies my M2 under addition and multiplication is an example of non-commutative. Correct. It is non-commutative. We just now found it is a ring. Yes, it is a ring, but without unity. It does not have the uh, multiplicative identity inside it. So this is one of the easiest example that I have proved. If you have any doubt, difficulty, you are free to ask in the chat box. If you like the video, you are supposed to share it with your friends. Okay. Who can use this? Okay. Bye-bye.